I'm so bad. At, no, but like at the podcast, he's uh, advertising stuff. For example, um, I told I said a while ago. This is on, right? I can't quite. Uh, uh, I yeah, mean, it's can you not fine. hear you? No. Give me a one, two. A seven, nine, alpha, bravo. All right, I'll just turn. We haven't seen so long as it's coming through, but yeah. Oh yeah, that's a no. Better? Yeah, well, yeah, so long as it's coming through. I can hear you, just can't hear me. No. Oh. The power of my voice. I can hear both of us. Good. That's good then. Uh, yeah, I'm terrible at uh, promotion and uh, just just that interaction you think. Like, for example, I said a while ago that uh, my dating profile has got clips of the a clip of the podcast on it. Yeah. To be like, oh, this, this is me. Something I do, sense of humour. It's got, I think, penguins in a minefield or something like that. And uh, yeah, someone matched with me because they really liked the video. And okay. they're like, oh, what's the name of your podcast? It sounds really interesting. I was like, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was like, she's, she was like 21. And I was right. just like, I'm, I'm, you know, I just think like, if you saw that, that's not like the whole podcast. That's like 20% of the podcast, right. of like the little newsy bits. Okay. But like, you won't like the rest of it. And, oh, you, I know, I, I know. <laughs> this is somebody finding us and going, hey, that's great. Where can I find you? Oh, <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> yeah, just like a fucking <laughs> What is it? What is it though? I just can't do it. Just it's that whole. I don't know. It's not even. It's not even. I'm. I'm unsure whether they'll like the show. Mm. It's just. I don't know. It just feels. I just don't like people. I think that's what it is. No, I'm with you. Do you know what I mean? That's why I just. I. I just talk to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. Uh, yeah, and just uh, Nick's posting on the uh, wrong social media. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Talk about it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, even even in that case, I just, I'm a bit, uh, no, mm. just go away. But I don't know what it is. It's not, you know, I like, I still like the show and enjoy it. I think people would enjoy it. I think it's just, uh, I just don't like you. I don't like you. <laughs> even though it's someone that I liked. It's dark. Yeah, like you know it's I mean? like, it's I don't know. Liked as in I swiped right because you swipe right on everybody. Yeah. It's just funny. It's like, say you like singing and someone's like, oh, send me a song. Like, no. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that. Like, I like singing, but I'm not going to sing you a song. <laughs> it's, it's, but, it's, but it's worse than that, right? Because it's like, you've just sang them a song. Yeah. And they're like, that's great. Do you know any other songs? And you're like, yeah. go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but you, 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 you obviously sing. <laughs> you yeah. get one song. Yeah, I don't know what it is though. I don't know what it is. I got to explore that. I think it's just uh, I don't know. It's not even laziness because all I had to do was just say the name and you could Google it. Yeah. So it's just I don't know. It's just part of me didn't want to. Just like no, you won't like it. <laughs> yeah. But that's great. Cause we love hate mail. Yeah. So it's just like yeah. So maybe I'll give it like, I don't know, a week later. There's plenty of podcasts. Yeah. Anyway, intro. <laughs> oh. Intro. Yeah, we are episode 211. Hmm. 211 today. If you're watching us on YouTube, give us a like and a subscribe. If you're watching us, if you're listening to us on something else, do whatever you do on that. I guess five hmm. star reviews, one star reviews. Just leave trolling comments or whatever. And yeah. if you want to see our faces, we're on YouTube. Give us a like and a subscribe. Yeah. That felt horrible. Like, share and subscribe. Well, we do it all. Hmm. Uh, we're on social media, Pulling Teeth Pod on Twitter and Instagram and Pulling Teeth Podcast on Facebook. And we've got an Amazon banner. If you go to our website, which is www.pullingteethpodcast.com, in the top right, there's an Amazon banner. That'll take you to Amazon. If you're going to do some shopping at Amazon anyway, why not go there first? And if you buy anything, we get a kickback, yep. which is kind of nice. I do. You do? Which yeah. is sad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. And I could use Amazon a lot. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's, uh, that's, that's, that's the intro. Episode, episode 211, the one with the new arms. Yes, the we've one got non <laughs> finally <laughs> not after, socks. After weeks of Nick asking for me to do just anything for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> well, it wasn't even... Cause I, I finally w- did something. I would have ordered them. Yeah, um, but I was like, no, 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 we need these ones. Yeah, I was like, all right, we can wait. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I haven't done it. We can wait eight weeks. Yeah. Have you done it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork. Dream work. It's all good. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. New arms, new uh, moving up in the world. New, new windshield. It's nice. Good. Oh, yeah. What about that? So, <laughs> is it a sock filter, is it called? Um, It's a, oh, like it's a pop something. filter. Yeah, well, I had the pop filter that goes here, but it was just flooping all over the place and I don't like it. Yeah. So I was like, well, if, if this works, which I wasn't convinced it would, 
because I thought you'd still get the the peas, the plosives, and the bees and that, but it seems to be plosives. working quite well. Mm. Yeah, it's a wind sock or something. No, the wind sock's the hairy one, isn't it? That's uh, that's a <laughs> that's a dead cat. Oh, <laughs> of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And this is uh, just this uh, is a, supposedly it's a wind it's a windshield cremated um, charcoal badger. It does it does for a pop filter. Yeah, I guess it kind of like. Just softens you. Well, it, was just, I, I, it just it just kind of clicked. Like most podcasters don't use pop filters. They just yeah. have these. Well, they got. I've seen the. There's a new microphone that lots of people are using. Mm. Uh, forget what it's called, but they don't even use any kind of filter on it. It's no, that one on. that uh, that one that Tom Segura uses has got fuck all on it. I think, mm. I, and that one's gotten quite popular. Yeah, I've seen a lot of places. A lot of places with that. Mm. So the mics are going up in the world. Yeah. How mic are you? Talk. <laughs> I don't mind talking about mics. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, how are you, Steve? Uh, good. Nothing, no, nothing to report. Nothing. No, nothing. nothing. Last week was the uh, the the oh the 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 official letter of graduation uh, for Tim Allen went in this week. That's good. So uh, yeah, in two weeks I'll be uh, I'll be a free man out in the world, filming kids, filming kids. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, obviously like good that you're doing more work mm. in your field but is there more in i mentioned last week about independent stuff is there stuff that you want to do with your newly found time or with the just- newly found time yeah so basically um i've got i've got a pretty good deal with a with 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 another company which is them saying like uh you give us x amount of hours a week and anytime you want to give us more give us more yeah so like that's like a huge amount of security um but it does mean that I can that yeah I've got I have got time as and when I want it or I've got money as and when I want it which is which is kind of a nice a nice deal. Yeah. Um, I want to go into some like uh, into some product stuff, but in order to do that, I need like flour. Flour is a good product. Sure, sure. Everyone I'll shoot some flour. flour. Um, but I'd I would need to set Cast up like it. a little sort of studio space that I can keep up all the time. So I was going to try and do that in the shed. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so like a. Uh... Just a just a table lighting and stuff that I don't have to keep tearing down every time I every time I'm uh, finished with it. Yeah, for like slow pans of bags of flour and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Slow pours of bags of flour. Yeah. Put, Put firework in bags it. of flour. Yeah, yeah. firework yeah. in the flour. Do everything. Yeah, flour work. Possibilities are endless. Yeah. You can do in your shed. Yeah. Yeah, but I need yeah. it's full of stuff at the minute, so I need to put that stuff somewhere. Still got else. a bath in it? Oh, not that shed. No, I'm not touching that shed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that shed is, is that the just shed that's like it, sheer chaos. That used to be like a school gym locker room. Yeah, it's got like kids' lockers at the back of it. We don't ask. No, just, I mean now you just film kids and steal their gym equipment. Yeah, well, we've got somewhere to put it. Yeah, yeah you've got somewhere to store the. Uh... Anyway. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so clearing yeah, out the woodshed to build a studio, that'd be quite cool. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, try and just trying out some new things, more freedom, more time. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. What new things are you gonna try out? Product stuff. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like new things. I thought like more than just the producty stuff. But yeah, I guess like, uh, <laughs> like you can drop it, can you? Fan, <laughs> drop the flower. Yeah, blow the, the fan flower, blow it into it. Yeah, have, uh... or flower. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll be I feel the, like that's like the groundwork. There's um there's a guy in there's a guy in Italy I think he's he must be from Italy because pizza but uh, he uh, his speciality uh, every advert that you see on TV (laughs) which has got cheese being pulled apart that's the only thing he does. (laughs) <laughs> and all these people Family-ish. go to him. They go to Italy and be like, "We need." He does the best cheese pulling. Yeah, <laughs> all, pi- all these pizza companies and everything like that. He j- he just picked this one thing. He's like, "I'm going to get good at this," and that was it. <laughs> cheese and pulling, and that's it. Like just Fair this enough. one bloke does all of that stuff, and there's loads of those. What a legacy! Yeah, yeah. Mm. There's, there's like there's there's like a, b- a bunch of different ones of the people who specialize in shooting cereal and like just all kinds of weird shit. I don't want to go yeah. that deep on it. Yeah, you see the weird, uh, like, robotic ones they do of, yeah, like, Burger yeah, yeah. King and Coke and stuff, where those it's, are, like, rotating arms and things. Yeah, those are crazy. Like because I think I think a lot of the stuff watching it, you just assume these days, it's like, oh, it's just it's just computer-generated. Like, we've just gotten really good at that stuff. And it's like, no, there's still people doing amazing practical stuff with, yeah. the, with the technology that we've got. I guess it's like a modern-day art attack, isn't it? Yeah. Where it's just like, I did this with a sewing kit or something. And it's just yeah. like, it's just, I guess, cheaper than CGI. Mm. Just build a robot that does it. Fine. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, this Spread robot can away. move from here to here in one twenty-fifth of a second. Great. What can we do with that? Pringles. Pringles with that. <laughs> do you reckon they shoot that in IMAX quality? Can't think of any reason why they wouldn't, right? Just like shoot in the highest resolution possible. So I don't know. The, those studios are really weird because they shoot. They, I think they're shot on like I think they're called phantom cameras, but they shoot like. <laughs> Like they shoot Throw like wall. Yeah, yeah, they shoot like twenty thousand frames. Throw a shit at people as a poltergeist. <laughs> so they shoot this ludicrously high frame rate, and the only way to do that is to have a stupid amount of light. So they've got just tons and tons and tons of light that's all water cooled. So there's these like there's just fucking fish tanks of water and shit everywhere, cooling down the wires and the like all the lighting equipment and everything like that because they just need so much of it. But um, and I, I imagine like it's I, it's probably like eight K resolution cameras, I should imagine. Yeah. But these days you can get DSLRs that'll shoot eight K, which yeah. is still fucking mind blowing to me. It's just uh, anything to get you that re- recipient's response of just like oh I could do with a burger. It's true. Just it's whatever true. you can do. But then you you see people doing comparisons of of like oh, this is. I need a button that says camera talk because I feel like this is getting into the weeds <laughs> and getting boring. But like you see people doing comparisons of like, uh, like, well, I, I, I shot this in 1080 and uploaded it and told YouTube it was 4K and they'll put a side by side and you cannot tell the difference. It's just like, so it's like there, there is sort of a, what, what's it called? Uncanny Valley. Um, no, <laughs> no, like, um, it's real. like a, a, dimi- a, a, a diminishing returns. Right. Like there's a degree of diminishing returns to it like once you get to a certain point where it's like okay well you shot this in did you shoot this in 6k or 8k or i shot it in 1080 and you can't fucking tell like yeah. there, there's like this i i think if you maybe if you know what you're looking for or maybe if you're blasting on an enormous screen but most of this shit has been taken in on people's phones and your brain just gets you just adjusts anyway yeah. if you watch what is, what was the old like si- not t- what was before 1080 like 460 yeah, They'd, like your brain would just get used to it, and it would look good to you. Well, it's like people who've got bad things. eyes, people mm. who've got like who, who need glasses and stuff. They don't realize that they need glasses until someone puts glasses on them. They're like, "Oh fuck, this is what mm. the world's meant to look like." I hate those colorblind fixing glasses. Why? Stay blind. I <laughs> be true to yourself. Shut up. No, it's the it's the again it's the social media aspect. It's the yeah. oh, we're gonna make a viral video out of this. Gary, react well. Mm. Okay. Oh, we gave our teacher uh, colorblind fixing glasses. Yeah, I, the, the, the human like ones, you. like I don't really care about, like the, <laughs> the pigeon ones. Fuck. Well, the, the kid, the ki- <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm the only pigeon in the world that can see color. <laughs> but the no, like the, the the kids getting like cochlear implants. It's the first time they hear sound and stuff. I'm just like, okay, fair enough. But then the ones that always get me, the ones that I actually quite enjoy, are like d- like dogs reacting to their owners returning home from the forces and stuff. Like, it's pretty sick how happy that dog is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's weird, isn't it? It's like, it's not like the dog's like respectful of the duty that the guy's. No, the no, no, done. no, no. It's the like, dog's just where like, where did you go? The fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you died. Yeah, it's not like, oh, dude, you're a legend. Thanks for your service. It's yeah. just the dog's no, just like, just, hey, how's it going? <laughs> get Whoa. the band back together. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't really have much to that. I don't have the, um, I, f- I remembered the word now, it's kawaii. Kawaii, K-A-W-A-I-I. And it's the Japanese culture of adorableness or cuteness. Oh. And it's just, I'm just not, I've said it many times, I just don't have it. But it's very, it's it's more and more true, the more I keep on trying to find it. Like people, um, I said I said I stopped dating and I kind of have. But every now and then there's a little bit of like, oh, it's all right, I'll get chatting with this person. The amount of people who are trying to baby talk and, I'm just like, this is really, uh, this just doesn't work on me. I'm mm. just Im- Im- immune. Yeah. Immune. <laughs> just, <laughs> it's like, well, I don't know what you're trying to do. <clears throat> are you trying to make yourself appear vulnerable or to be looked after? Or are you looking to be mothering? Or what? what is this? I don't yeah. understand. So just, can you just stop this, please? <laughs> <laughs> just stop. And that'd be fine. But yeah, I don't really have that with uh, many videos. I mean, I still watch, I like dog videos, mm. but it's not like a, I guess it's kind of like an awesome thing. Yeah. Every now and then. It's like, oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah. But it's not like, uh, yeah, I haven't got the, haven't got the kawaii. But maybe my cute gland is uh, for other things. I don't know. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know, skinning people alive or something. 
<laughs> burying people. Oh, he's he's using a, a love a, a shovel that goes with the coat of the victim he's burying. Oh, it's love. <laughs> oh, that, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, he's adorable. <laughs> oh, he's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah. Was uh, how's um how's the How's the life lifestyle change life. going? Uh, yeah, still going good, but social media is just... Ah, uh, fuck that side of it. But like, yeah, but it's, it's really surreal. It's just like, yeah, keep on trying to give a shit. Yeah. But I just can't. No. And it's just like, I think I've gone four days now without... I was meant to post again before we start recording. Mm. Um, well, I guess it's yeah, like... Four days of just like none. I, 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 I'd say it's important if you think it's the posting that's keeping you accountable. If not, if you're doing it anyway, I wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, well, it's just, it just feels like that was part, in my brain, that was part that of the was challenge part of, the deal. of trying to get into uh, social media. And it just, I guess, it, I it's, it's a just a weird endeavor. thing, like, how to do it. Because, like, the, and the only reason I was doing it was to try and post more for the podcast. Mm. And just, that couldn't give a shit. Yeah. So I don't know what, the, what that means for the podcast. It means probably still won't have any posts. Yeah. But trying to figure out a way to do that. I think I, I think there is a lot of... I, I th- My optimistic side is, is that people post things in order to keep themselves accountable. But the other side of it is like, well, are you, you could just be posting things because you want people to be like, oh, wow, well done. And like... Yeah, yeah. Um, and like... And this is this is gonna sound really kind of like, uh, like self, like back patty. But like I, I think I've been, I've I've worked out every year the day for the last sort of ten weeks now, and I don't think I've made a post about it. I can't. I've kind of. I, this, this does sound like I'm just smelling my own farts. Well, but what's I, different? Because a while ago, um. Before you lived here, I think you yeah. started running and you were posting every day. Yeah. Is there like a difference yeah, yeah, yeah. between that and now? Um, I don't know. I think when I started doing that, the only thing I can think was uh, I had other f- other friends that were running as well and that were posting about it and doing all that. So I guess at that point, it was kind of to feel maybe part of that group mm. or something. Whereas now it's just like, oh, I've made this choice as an, as an independent person for independent reasons. Like it, it's less about it feels less about to be part of like a community and more kind of like self self yeah. improvement yeah well yeah it's it's just, the big one is people posting pictures of their fucking watches every day like oh i burnt 800 oh, calories it's like Jocko. no you haven't yeah i really no. don't think you have please don't go and eat that now let's not get into that <laughs> no no it's just it's thoroughly inaccurate yeah but uh no but yeah, it's. Uh, I think people use social media for weird reasons, and I think yeah, I was just. For to be honest, there was part of me that felt a bit more communal from doing it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. As in, like I said, it's kind of like passively socializing with people. There is definitely a dopamine hit of people like being like, get, like saying well done or interacting in any way. Oh, I never um, had like, that. Never that. But it was like the. Um, uh, because I was posting things like I had a friend respond who I haven't chatted to in a while. Mm. So like, oh, it's cool to know. I was surprised at how many people viewed the video or whatever. Yeah. So it's just like, oh, you know, oh, I should probably get back in touch. And then it kind of starts conversations about things. So it was, it was just like, oh, I can see the benefit. I can see a genuine benefit of being active on social media in that you will be active with other social media users. Mm. But I think it's just, I think part of it is time. And I think the other part is just, I mean, it's the same thing with your um, uh, wedding, right? Like where you did, you had a professional photographer, Mm. but you have the photos. Yeah. It's not like, oh, I'm going to post them on social media. And while it can make sense because lots of people may want to see the photos of the wedding. Share them with people that couldn't be there and stuff like that. Yeah. Or even people that. that were there, but there's this like the aspect of like, no, it's... Yeah, I don't, I don't ju- I, yeah, I don't judge people for that. Like, do it's your photos, do what you want. But like, yeah, but there's, a, there's a feeling. Yeah, there's just a feeling of just like, if you want to know about the day, let's talk. Yeah. Or you know, it's the memories. And likewise, of our if someone day. was interested, like actually interested, and sent like, oh, have you got pictures of your wedding? I'd be like, yeah, it, here's some. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just a weird thing to broadcast. It feels like I th- it's not a weird thing to broadcast, but it feels the same thing. Yeah. Of just like. I, I've experienced the moment. Mm. I'm happy that the moment was documented. 
Yeah. There's another weird step of people doing of now I'm going to post it to Look at people. these beautiful po- photos of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a waistcoat. Isn't yeah. it amazing? But yeah, there's I had a, a shave that day. <laughs> <laughs> but I just cut, yeah, there's that extra step, I think, just lacking, just missed out on mm. that, whatever. Didn't grow up with it going. Cr- I imagine if you grew up with social media, it's probably pretty mental. Yeah. You know, like, uh, because uh, yeah, Facebook came out when I well became more pop. Yeah, Facebook was still a university only thing when I started uni, so there was no like, oh, there's a girl at school I like. Let's see all of her photos, and <laughs> is she single? <laughs> so much date. <laughs> and then trying to yeah, I guess that's the, we just missed out on that. Well, I think, yeah, I, think I feel like it, you, yeah, this whole the the whole Facebook, the fact that that's a term, Facebook stalking, and that like yeah. the the amount of the amount of information you can pull in about people. It used to be that you could go on a bus ride with someone and like. Someone that you'd never met, someone that you'd never spoken to, they could be sitting across the aisle and over the course of half an hour, you could fall head over heels in love with that person and then never see them again. Mm. And like, I feel like that kind of thing is gone. Yeah, because now you could just stalk them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Although I, dev- I did notice this week, I think this week, two of your comments popped up on my feed. Because I use, I use Facebook a lot to find to look look at the news and stuff, to scroll through and want to see an article that I find funny. Oh, yeah. I use that. But two of your comments came up and I, okay. I've never felt the feeling of like commenting on stuff either. Mm. So I was like, oh, I wonder what Steve's commented. And one of them was basically, what a bunch of cunts. <laughs> Which was one like, was that? Uh, uh, I don't remember. But there was something, what a bunch of use, oh, peop, uh, there was a local pub oh, or something. Oh, that place in Also, the, the, yeah, the, the, Osage, the restaurant yeah. in Also, because yeah. people have like, because now people's fucking livelihoods are on the line again. And, and that's because people, are, uh, yeah, people are booking a restaurant up, and then not showing up. Which is like, you, you're an asshole. Yeah, yeah. But it's, again, it's that, I'm not criticising no, you for no, this, no, but no. it's that extra step of, of like posting it. That's, I, just, I feel so strongly yeah. about this. That I'm gonna I'm gonna cunt. spend five minutes calling them a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they're never gonna read this. <laughs> yeah, it's just but it's, just screaming I, into the it's ether. less energetic than screaming into the ether, I think. Mm. It's like it's like it's like muttering. It's muttering, muttering into the into ether. The like, the like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like I'd much rather scream. Yeah. And even then it's yeah, trying to find something worth screaming into. But yeah. But yeah, so social media is, uh, I'm not really feeling it. So I'm not sure what we're going to do, what I'm going to do around that. The plan was I could then do more social media on the on the podcast. But no, other than that, yeah, still doing lots of gym um, to the point where it's now becoming inconvenient, but I am addicted yeah. completely again. It, the, the first 10 days were struggle-ish and now it's completely it takes, addicted. It takes a bit of time. Yeah. yeah, I think it was like two weeks, but this was it. Yeah, pretty much bang on 10 days. I was like, yep, cool. Yeah. This is good. I'm um, back to kind of like gym, swim, gym, swim. Like I think I, I, I think, pretty much like Sundays the rest day, and then it's it goes back to goes back to that. Yeah, also what I'm thinking of doing, but it just feels like well, I can get away with that of six days on, one day off, six days on, one day off. But every time I go to the gym, it's pretty much a four hour window. To be like, fair, I would go, but it's purely because I most of the time on Sundays I can't make it work because there's. The, so, the, the, the gym's open for such a small window of time and I'm usually working. Mm. But for me, for me, it's just the, it's the four hours a day. It's just, well, if you sleep for eight hours, which is very little for me. Yeah. So that's already 12 hours. And then you've got I've worked a job that I work eight to 10 hours on a day, roughly. Yeah. So that's 22. So I've got two hours free and usually that's sleep. Mm. And then, and yeah, just the, adjusting. Gotta, I would do it every day. You've got to walk the dog and... Yeah, it's just stuff that goes Males around. So it's that. just, uh, you know, podcasty stuff, edity stuff. And it's just, yeah, got to a point where I was like, mm, maybe I could do in November, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, something like that. Yeah. And then I've got dedicated evenings, but then I'm a, I'm an addict. So it's just like, I just don't think I could do that. So maybe if I go in the morning on the Tuesdays and the Wednesdays and I do yoga, it's yoga um, something else. It's one of those... It's one of those things. It's like, um, I thought, oh, just for, since we're... Gym talk! Oh, you're not going to talk about the gym, are you? I don't like it when we talk about the gym. Still don't like it. It's just the only part of my life right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things that I, I, I find where, like, um, I I get a sense of when I'm going too hard because there's, there's so many times with this kind of stuff where it's just slipped by the wayside in the past and I've just... And then suddenly it's like three months later and I'm like, oh, fuck. 
Mm. I've I've not I've not worked out in three months. Um, that I think it's kind of important to to be able to sense your own burnout as uh, like as as addicted as, as 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 addicting as it can be, and as like as big as you can get into stuff. Like I've I'm I'm like I'll get to a point where I'm, where I'm, I'm like if I think if I go for the next six days solid. I'm not going to go for a seventh and then I'm not going to go again. So maybe I should, maybe I should like, I should rest that today and then come back on, on Tuesday. What like, do you I've, think is, is it just an energy thing or is it? A- I think, I think potentially. Yeah. Um, it could like, it could literally just be on those days that I just haven't fucking slept well or something. Um, mm. but most of the time I've, I've had a good sense of like, it's, it's, um, it's, it's reframing failure as well um like i've i've managed to reframe to the point where it's like if i show up i've succeeded it doesn't matter if i don't hit my targets today as far as like what i'm trying to lift or anything like that like i've i've shown up like i'm here that was the only objective Mm. and as long as i've been doing that it's been it's been much better rather than having this idea of like well no i need to i need to lift this much it's like why yeah you don't you just need to be here and and put some work in right um i think as long as i've reframed it like that it's been it's been better but in the times in the past i've been very kind of like much more like goal oriented with it um and it hasn't served me it hasn't served me well it depends what you set the goals on i guess right yeah i mean yeah i never understood the whole physical amount of weight to aim to lift no like, but oh, it's you know, certain building things up to, where it's well even 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 number of times a week where it's like well mm. you, I've, i need to lift three times except you're going on the third day and i'm just like i'm I, I've I've not got it in me to lift heavy today. If it even if it's because like the only session I've managed to book is like seven o'clock in the morning, I'm just like I cannot, I can't, I can't lift heavy first thing in the morning. So it's just like, well, just you're here. That was the only goal. Just go and fucking jump on the cross trainer for an hour. So I'll do that instead and be like, that's fine. Mm. The only objective was to show up. Like and that that actually just works better for me. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Whatever. Get I think the first biggest hurdle is getting to the place where you begin mm. whether that's gym or whether that's something but, else i think it's with anything yeah it's, it's like uh like i i i did the, i did the same with guitar like i did it so much that i burnt myself out and now it's just been sitting there for fucking for for three four five months for because me, i got to a point where i was just like oh i need to practice for 45 minutes a day i need to practice this this and this i want to get better at this this and this but i don't really know what progress on guitar looks like i just know oh i couldn't do this last week and i can kind of do it now that's progress i guess i just haven't got a good measurement as opposed to just being like just show up just sit down and play for five mm. ten minutes but just 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 sit down and pick it up and play something that's it that's all you have to do for me it's always been uh i think people do things because they feel they're supposed to as opposed mm. to doing it because they enjoy it because if there was a ro- training regime of pick up your guitar and have a fucking incredible time for one hour a day. Yeah. You would never struggle to do that. No. It's no. just, you find yourself getting bored with guitar. Mm. And the reason you're getting bored is more likely than not is you're doing drills because you feel you're supposed to, That's and you don't you enjoy it. Yeah. And yeah. you just go, you don't need to do that. You can no. just find some, just do something you enjoy. Mm. If you get to the gym and you don't want to lift heavy, you can be like, Oh, I want to do something different. Yeah. See, the, what, what am I in the mood for? I've got mates in the past that have tried to pull me in on like boot camps and and circuit training and stuff and i'm just like i know for a fact i will hate that i'll go mm. to one session i might come away feeling like i don't think i think with these things you'll never you'll never actually regret going i think once you're actually finished you're like no that was a good workout i'm sure i feel better for it but the actual process of it fucking hate like there's there's no part of circuit training cross training like that whole high intensity interval shit that that i've ever enjoyed and like if, if i work out to the point where i feel like i'm going to vomit i am not coming back i just i just know i'm i just know that's who i am so if i so it, like you I, it's i guess it's it's finding finding things that that work for you it's like doing the drills doing doing guitar drills and scales and stuff and it's like yeah i got good at certain things but like i didn't enjoy it yeah, and like, then you go, why were you doing it in the first place? Yeah, and the answer I is, think that's, that's what, what I was supposed, supposed to, do. to do. Yeah, yeah. And you go, no, just pick, if you want to play the trumpet, play the trumpet. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, it, there's a whole thing of just like, oh, I'm supposed to do this. Mm. And you go, all right, fine. But yeah, I think you get the I most, think if you uh, get to a point where it's like, well, I want to learn this song and it's this bit in this song that I can't, that, that, that I'm really having trouble with, what can I practice that will get me better at this kind of thing? And then it's like, well, if you can, if, if you can, 
I don't know why, but if you can understand the Mixolydian scale or something like that, that'll make you that'll make you understand the movement mm. pattern in this in this little bit of shredding or whatever. Like, but then you just go, more. oh, why don't you do that for a year? Yeah. And you go, well, why? Why I think I'm supposed to do it for a year. Yeah. Why don't I just do it while I'm learning something? Because I'm le- I enjoy the learning aspect, and once I've learned it, then I'll do something else. Yeah. Go, no, I need to do it for a year. That's how it works. The same with weights. I need to bench press 100 kilograms. Yeah. I need no. to do this. It's like. You can just like uh, yeah, uh, gym talk. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I can't remember a lot of a lot of these. Uh, when the coronavirus swept through the West Bank in July, seventy-three-year-old Razmi Al Suwaiti was admitted to the hospital despite being in isolation. She had a daily visitor. Her son Jihad Al Suwaiti, thirty-two, scaled the hospital building each day to sit outside her window. And make sure that she had her oxygen mask on. So, like, you kind of guess the visiting hours inside the building are over. Oh, right. But you can just scale the building. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is perfectly fine. Yeah. Well, I get what they're going to do. <laughs> yeah. Get down. No. No. <laughs> you can't open these windows. They're yeah. suicide. You can't, yeah. You can't, you're can't. you you not allowed to come within two meters of me. <laughs> yeah. This windowsill is like 30 centimeters. Yeah. You can't do shit. <laughs> Um, an act that um, yeah but went viral for it apparently. Uh, the video even emerged of an imam in Sudan making prayers, referencing him. So he went really viral. Mm. Um, his dedication is <laughs> oh, really viral if, if, if God's involved. <laughs> <laughs> this imam's got it. It's like he's retweeting him. It's great. <laughs> Uh, his dedication didn't stop there, which is okay. interesting. Uh, when his mother did die on July 17th, <laughs> Jihad and his siblings stole her body after <laughs> hospital staff said they couldn't release it to the family. Oh. <laughs> the guy can scale a building. I'm yeah. pretty sure he can steal his mum. Yeah. <laughs> so they they couldn't release it because it could, they could be infected. I think so. Right. Um, um, I won't go into the rest of it, but I think basically it's uh, the policy of that hospital was to wrap all of the dead in plastic, which could be to stop there the was spread a, of corona stuff. There was, a, there was a, yeah, there was a lot of, a lot of that, I think. Um, yeah. And I think it's uh, somewhere in Muslim beliefs that the dead shouldn't be wrapped in plastic. Mm. I think they should, w- w- whether that's not plastic specifically, probably not, it wasn't invented. But like, uh, yeah, to be buried in a specific way, which you can't have a covering of plastic or yeah. whatever it is. But yes, yeah, so we stole his dead mum. Great. That's good. Great. It's my mum. <laughs> could bury her if I want. Uh, it was quite a, a thing. Brothers, nephews and friends came in seven different cars to confuse the ambulance. I don't understand why the ambulance would be chased then. <laughs> yeah. The police would, right? <laughs> yeah. But I guess the ambulances are the f- nearest vehicle. They probably saw someone stealing a dead yeah. body and were like, quick, yeah. get to the ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Seven cars were like switching a room and they managed to get away. It's quite police fun. tasing people with defibrillators. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing shots of adrenaline. <laughs> oh no, that's the exact opposite of what we want. <laughs> In other news, uh, killer whales have started orchestrating revenge on boats outside Spain. Good. So, good. If you're in Spain, be Why? careful on a boat. But good. <laughs> well, I think that the idea is uh, they've started to see boats as a threat because num- m- a lot of them are being injured by like rudders and right. boats coming by. So, they've evolved to attack the boats. <laughs> Christ. Killer whales are one of those things where it's like I I I have a very healthy respect for them but I um and there's there's I th- I think in the wild there's like there's no evidence of them ever having attacked people who are like in the water or anything right. like that. They've gotten curious and come up and be like, "Oh," and then fucked off or like <laughs> swam. There's loads of stories of them swimming with people for a, for a while and then clearing off and stuff yeah. like that. But like the day when whales finally turn on us is the day like is the day we're all fucked? Like I'm yeah. I, like there, there's there, there, there's there's something weird behind a whale's eyes, which is just like you know a lot more than you're. They're a natural on. trebuchet. <laughs> yeah. You're not like even seals. safe on land. Yeah, yeah. No, there's they're got him. They're just I I I always feel like there's um there's a there's like a community amongst those animals that would be. That, that would would be as far advanced as we were if they only had thumbs 
or just or <laughs> something to that something something to that effect that like they the, their ability to kind of work things out and kind of yeah there was an old um joe rogan bit he goes like dolphins are fucking smart and people go they're not smart they haven't got email it's like <laughs> they don't need email they can communicate over miles like, we never clicks. needed these things yeah. <laughs> yeah it's not we needed it because we're like, hey too far away <laughs> dolphins they just know shit yeah <laughs> yeah but it's just, yeah it's the same with whales and it's like yeah no if they're turning on us now then that's that's more of a threat than a shark has ever been. <laughs> well, it's weird because they're attacking the boats, I guess, aren't they? So it's like it's weird that. They're so st- do they make the attacking. connection that it's people manning, controlling the boats? It says people, yeah, people and boats. Right. But that might just be drum dramatism. I don't know. Because if they, they can make that connection, boats. that's impressive. Uh, you would assume that it's like <laughs> binoculars out. Well, like shallow if I see that boat. if I, if I see a polar bear on like an ice cap just floating through the ocean, I don't assume that the polar bear is controlling the ice cap. Mm. And like that's what I would assume that uh, that a whale sees when it sees a person on a boat. Like it's yeah, well, that's yeah. on that thing, and that thing is moving, but it doesn't make the connection that kill the ice float. Yeah, if they can, that's that fucking weird intelligence shit. Um, but regardless, terrified boat owners are not consoled by this. If it's what it says, move, yeah, <laughs> move out the ocean. Well, just just, just move. Get it's in. only Spain. I guess you can't really like become whale proof, mm. right? As in physically impossible, and you can't like have no. nastier things to deter them because that no. would be cruel. So you're just like, well, I guess we're just fucked. They've turned on us, as you say. They are apex predators and incredibly <laughs> smart. Meanwhile, mm. orcas in South Africa have Ooh. stepped up attacks on great white sharks, eviscerating them for their nutrient-rich organs. Mm. So that's a sign of things just, to come. They just turn them upside down <laughs> and then they die. It's such a strange thing. Because <laughs> sharks apparently just can't... Like, it, it, they, they get no, intoxicated. They're almost like drunk when you turn them upside down. Something to do with the blood pressure or, or something. Like basting it or... They just, uh, yeah, the whales just fucking them. just turn them upside down until they die and then just eat them. <laughs> It's such a strange rich thing. Organs. Mm. It makes so, sense. Yeah. Um, Stoke on Trent news. I wonder Ooh. if you can spot more why. orcas. More what? Orcas in the chip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shoppers were horrified after a man was spotted squatting down in broad daylight and shitting in the middle of Hanley. That sounds like an everyday occurrence. <laughs> Police were called. <laughs> Police. I mean, he's, he's gone now. Nine, nine, nine what's your emergency? He's shitting in the street. <laughs> ah. Like, what's the point? He's like, he'll be gone. Well, it's like, is it, are you going to chase after him? It is a crime, especially in these uh, germaphobic times. It is. I understand that, but like, what the police are going to come and they'll be there in ten minutes and they'll take a statement. What did he look like? They'll take a photo of the shit. Yeah. Well, he looked like he was he was yeah. squatting down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> didn't know that much more of him. The suspect from Stoke-on-Trent was arrested. What do you think the crime was? Um, it'd, be, it'd be like indecent exposure or something. Yeah. or um, Yeah. I, would, I, I haven't heard this exact phrasing of it before. Outraging public decency <laughs> not like outrageous yeah not like public decency no. but outraging mm. public decency it's not a typo it's multiple times this comes up right so i guess he's being very he's enraging those who embody public decency yeah i guess uh, which is a lie because they're from stoke <laughs> um after the 52 year old relieved his bowels in market lane uh, yeah, uh, no further action was taken. He was arrested on suspicion of, of shitting. Of shitting. I guess. <laughs> and he was like, was well, me? Yeah. Was it me? Yeah. All right, then you can go. All right. All right, then. <laughs> uh, the arrest came as police and Stoke on Trent City Council have started a, crack, a crackdown on intimidating drunks. I'm assuming that's drunks who are intimidating, not yeah. people intimidating drunks. No. Druggies and beggars plaguing the city centre in recent weeks. Pauline. Kushin said they need to get rid of the beggars, druggies and alcoholics and it will be a better town. Yeah. Is that not the same as any town? Yeah, if, you, if you've if you got a town and you get rid of the beggars, druggies and alcoholics, then yeah, it will get a better town. But yeah. how do you the shitter do doesn't fit any of those. You've gotten to the root of the problem. Well <laughs> Cheers, done. Pauline. Yeah. 
A Staffordshire police, the, the police made an official statement. We were called at 2.55 p.m. on October 9th to reports of a man defecating on Market Lane. I love that word. <laughs> yeah, it's a strong word. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was arrested on suspicion and he's released. So that's fair enough. Um, I don't quite understand this next article. Um, and I think, I, I think it's bad. Uh, MPs have voted against an attempt to formally ban undercover agents from committing murder, torture, and rape. Okay. So my instinctive reaction is, currently, undercover agents can murder, torture, and rape. I think that's the idea of the headline. I yeah. imagine there's more to it. Well, I think that's, that's currently legal for yeah. undercover people to do those things. Yeah. And there was an attempt to make that illegal or put some rules around it, and MP said, no. They need to keep on torturing, raping, and murdering. <laughs> well, it's I think like, that's what's going on. It's it's so th- this this shit happens all the time. Like there was um, there was there was a headline. It was it was probably in the Guardian because it always fucking is. But um, it was like uh, after the after the initial kind of lockdown, um, Tory MPs have uh, ceased um, the funding of this like this homeless thing that they'd put into place which put homeless people into hotels to get them off the streets during the the pandemic right um and uh everyone would be like oh i can't, can't believe this look they've, they've cut this funding like like everybody just outraged because tories are heartless scum and everything like that what they'd actually done is kept the funding in place but said you can use it for whatever you want you don't have to use it for homeless people now so it effectively abolished the scheme whilst everybody still got all the funding. So places that didn't have particularly high homeless problems or something could use that money towards something that they did have a problem with. And it's it's just, it's little, it's it's just, um, just little kind of like change switches in, in the way that an idea is communicated that kind of turn people off it, or, it's, or like convince people that like, oh, this, is, this has been, this is wholly nefarious, when there's probably more to it. It's just that you're not going to get it from, uh, from 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 the from the headline, right? So that was like a, a co- murder, torture, and as in the homeless people weren't murder, torturing, and raping. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah, no. It's just a media sensationalizing. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was kind of a half. It was reporting like one, just one side of the story. Right. But yeah, I think I think it makes sense, right, for an undercover person to be able to embellish uh, illegal activity in order to maintain their undercover persona. Yeah. To the point of murder, to the point of torture, and then it's like to the point of rape, I guess. Well, I, it's a weird thing because then that has to make the question. I think if, you, of, if you're taking it, if 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 it is at face value and there's no more facts about it about what was actually done, then it does seem weird. Like I, I would take the rape out of there immediately. Murder and torture is like, well, is that potentially the is that, is that potentially the the point of like undercover operatives for them to for them to extract to or to extract information or keep people safe by any mm. means necessary? Like rape doesn't enter into that, but murder, well, arguably, well, it's, it's torture, well, it's, maybe. What do you yeah. consider torture? Well, it just if if with it being legal, it makes it interesting because it begs the question of well, um, you know, the lives of the many mm. um, outweigh the needs of the few or the needs of the many. Well, it's like is is it inhumane to waterboard a terrorist? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, the answer is like no, isn't it? The media, yeah, but yeah, but yes, yeah, it's, it's perfectly legal. So that means you have to like put give a receipt, mm. you know, for your expenses to whoever undercover organization you're working for, you yeah. need to like fill out the form. Be like, oh, I murdered that guy. Mm. And yeah, I raped that guy. And then, yeah. Uh, just, just a busy week. <laughs> busy week's been fine. <laughs> the House of Commons rejected an amendment that aimed to limit the kind of crimes that can be authorized under a new law. And again, just the, for it to be authorized feels like you need prior permission. Mm. Can I murder this guy, please? Yeah. And they're just like, hmm, let's think about it. Need to figure out the ins and the outs, yeah. as it feels more like it to ask for forgiveness rather than permission kind of deal. Of like, I murdered this guy. That's cool, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the proposed authorizations would not only be issued in the interests of national security or preventing and detecting crime, but also preventing disorder and in the interests of the economic well-being of the United Kingdom. 
So I think that's they were trying to limit those crimes for the benefit of the economy. Mm. Well, if you if we stop raping people in secret, maybe the economy will boom. Yeah. I guess that's how that works. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, we covered this a little while ago. Um, so it's just another catch-up. Do you remember that grandfather who held his granddaughter out of a porthole of a boat <laughs> yes. and dropped her? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, um, he's... Uh, she was eaten by a whale. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he pleaded guilty on Thursday to negligent homicide. Again, all these weird adjectives coming out with, like, intentionally wounding, and <laughs> accidentally Wait. homiciding, no, <laughs> negligent. But, like, homicide is with intent. I thought manslaughter, well, I maybe? Negligent. Well, it's... He wasn't... I've always thought manslaughter was, like, defending yourself. But that could just be the first idea. Well, no, because like manslaughter is if you hit, if if you get prosecuted for dangerous driving and hit someone with a car or something. I think like I'm oh. pretty sure that's like that's yeah. manslaughter. The difference would be intent, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, this is it's weird uh, because um, oh, Anello, fucking granddaughter, have a porthole. It's Jesus so Christ. fucking like th- your life is over. Yeah. Like, and it's not like he threw her out. Like no, he no. was holding her out, and he dropped her. By accident. It's like, your life's over. Just, you can no longer do anything, right? Yeah. Um, but there's a whole court case going on about it, I guess. Is it off a cruise or ship or something? Something like that, yeah. Oh, just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go into it a little bit. Um, yeah, obviously, it was a tragedy. He pled guilty so that he could move on. Um, he didn't want to plead just guilty to negligent to homicide. So she could look out. Well, the there's window. a bit more information with it. And again, it's all kind of like people trying Sad. to figure stuff out. Um, but yeah, so because he's pleading guilty to negligent homicide, he doesn't go to jail. He just serves probation in his home state. So I think that's like, don't, don't drop any more toddlers out of any more boats or else then you'll go to prison. (laughs) Okay. Uh, yeah, because the plea agreement is jail time. That's why he did it. They're trying to raise passenger safety awareness. That's what they're trying to do. They're being like, well, this boat was obviously too unsafe. Shut up. <laughs> now, again, I can totally understand. There's no argument that you should make things more safe. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. But trying to imply that the reason you dropped your granddaughter was because yeah. the boat wasn't safe enough is yeah, like... That's ridiculous. I'm very sorry, and I feel so bad for you, but you fucked up, mate. This is just this is just harsh. Um, the family alleges that the cruise ship company is at fault for Chloe's death. A claim the company has strongly denied... Nope. Nope. <laughs> um, so the lawsuit said that Anello was, I think it's a grandfather, is closely supervising his granddaughter when Chloe, the da- the granddaughter, walked over to a nearby wall of glass. Anello followed and put the girl up at the window so that she could bang on the glass and okay. slipped. Now, they've replied by, well, we've got CCTV footage of you leaning out of the window beforehand. So mm-hmm. I think you knew it wasn't... So- I think they're, they're, they're saying, we thought it was solid glass. It's like, well, you were leaning out of it earlier, like eight seconds before, so you knew it wasn't fully there. Ugh. And why do you want to get... Well, I don't understand that family tradition of banging on windows. I don't nope. get it. No. Nope. So Family no. tradition. Yeah. We have a proud tradition in this family. That's what we do. Of if banging on, on people's windows. If we're on a boat, we try yeah. and break the glass. Yeah. That's what we do. If it doesn't break... Well, we, we keep it in and throw someone out of it. Yeah, I, again, I just, I yes, make it more safe. I think the, I think <laughs> women and children first. <laughs> <laughs> <How'd you go? laughs> but yeah, I can understand making the boat more safe and like putting guards and stuff. I think they 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 were saying that all boats should have every couple of rows should have like a outer ring so that if someone does fall, they fall onto the like ring. Like suicide netting. Something like buildings. that. But like, uh, yeah, but like it's you know, metal, whatever it is. So you fall, but you don't fall. I However, mean, fall kills that toddler. Or just, just, or just like what they've done in all other places is take people's fun away and be like, fine, if you're going to hang your kids out of the windows, we're just not going to let you open the windows anymore. Yeah, and you just go. Well, that's you know. Okay, I like guess, I mean, but... if you yeah, if you go, if you go to a fucking hotel, you can't swing your window open if you're on like the thirtieth floor or something. Normally, like you can get it open a crack, and that's it. Yeah. Like, and even then, I'm looking, I'm looking out the window, be like, fair enough. I, I, I don't, I don't care. It, 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 I don't see it as imp- impeding on my rights. The fact that I can't open a window in your building. 
Yeah. Well, like, it's just, again, it's the, I, I, I get the argument that they're making of make it more safe. It makes sense, but it's just. Hindsight. You really cannot. There's you no way of spinning this where you're not incredibly guilty in yourself. Yeah. Like, you can't get away from that. You're just like, the, you've. It's how the run can you, white thing. You, you can't fix stupid. <laughs> like there's, well, there's just, no amount of barricading yourselves in and cotton wool that you can wrap people in that will f- stop them making stupid decisions no, but and in, you can't be held responsible for it either but as in that guy trying to find redemption or to find peace you go like i don't think you can mate i think no. you're doomed yeah i don't think you can drop your granddaughter and feel the same no like i still feel weird because uh once uh i was playing in my bedroom with my dog and i threw something in the air and she jumped up to get it but she jumped back Mm. and so like she jumped off the bed and landed on the floor she's yeah. perfectly fine but there's that moment of like, like oh yeah can you imagine if that was out of a boat i <laughs> to the death you'd be like oh my god i <laughs> remember throwing anything ever again yeah I've, I've still got visions of like running over like a the fuck was it it was a mole like and it, it's like i i remember that like this very distinct like just like fucking photographs in my head of like mm. running over this mole at night of like seeing something in the distance crawl across the road slowly but like and suddenly like it's right in front of me and it just very slowly turns <laughs> to look at me and that my headlights like lit up its eyes like that kind of glowing thing and then it was just like, yeah, yeah. oh fuck <laughs> like and it's like there's just no time to react or think about it or anything like that but like and that was 10 12 years ago yeah like and it's just like ugh. but this is he that tempted shit. fate you know he hate, yeah I, right from memory he dangled the child out of the window i don't know whether that's what they're saying here but that's from my memory of it he dangled it to wave to somebody what they're saying on here is that uh, oh he put him on the windowsill and was like holding her without standing her on the windowsill and then she fell through the fell through the hole or something mm. so it's like he acted he made the decision to put the go the mole in that road yeah and you go oh this is lovely isn't it it's lovely and it's like <laughs> oh god mate you're just your yeah. life's like i've got a lot of that i think uh yeah there's a lot of points where you go now your life's yeah. over now yeah it's just we should yeah. build 50 foot high concrete walls underground by the <laughs> by the roads so moles can't yeah moles can't cross the road just trying to find redemption trying right. to find uh trying to find some peace i don't think Mm-mm. i'm very sorry but i don't think you will no nope. uh oh i can hear myself now <laughs> too late good um in and lastly from me a couple have named their little girl after an internet service provider to get free wi-fi for 18 years aol uh virgin twiffia <laughs> <laughs> twi-fi sorry is the name of the company um and they they had a campaign social media campaign to name their kid after the company a son could be twifus or a daughter twiffia what a stupid name. Yeah, both horrible. I mean, the article says, you know what? Twiffy is really growing on us. It's like, I don't think... Oh, I don't me. think it is. And to be fair... Free like, Wi-Fi. To be 20 fair... 20 quid a month. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, it's not... Yes, it's money, but it's not crazy. And admittedly, they've only changed the middle name. So it's not like the first name is Twiffier. Right, okay. So it's like, enough. you can get by without ever knowing that they're Twiffier. It's just, and they've been anonymous throughout the whole thing because they're embarrassed about it. Good. And they said, well, you know, we're just going to put the money in an account for the baby when she gets 18. Maybe, Maybe she'll buy a car. Hey, or something like that. <laughs> You're the kind of person that would do that. You're not going to be responsible. <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess it's... It's weird because it's permanent and it's legally binding. Yeah. Isn't it? That's what makes it I weird. I mean, kids can, ch- you can change your name, but it's like, no, your parents yeah. made a decision to name you in order to get free Wi Fi. <laughs> That's how much they cared about that decision. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what, 20 quid a month, 240 pound a year. It's like two and a half grand plus more, isn't it? That was like 10 years. It's like two and a half grand, say four grand. Yeah. It's okay for that, but it's weird it's that you weird put a price point. on a name. <laughs> not you them like it's weird that you, it's yeah, weird that yeah. you could yeah but then i was i think i said before i think that- it's it's a different thing if you're an adult and because i've seen loads of these companies like mcdonald's or something like oh you get uh free burgers for life if you change your name to hamburglar <laughs> or something and like <laughs> and people do it oh yeah yeah, yeah i'll do that <laughs> oh i got free but, but like that person <laughs> A is a moron, but B like they 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 had a life at that point. It's like that was their choice, fair yeah. enough. But to name your daughter 
to get free shit. Like that's also or to just your child. Yeah. It's just I think names right. have an effect. I like do what you want, and I'm sure like you have the best intentions or whatever, but I have no respect for you at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you care what I but I think like names yeah, I think names do have a lasting they do have a strange attitude towards your narrative. Yeah. Like if your name is Apple, I think your name's gonna it's gonna it's just like yeah. it just becomes a very small thing. But it's just something, a very small thing that follows you around. Yeah. It's kind of gets, I mean, I've got weird, I've got, I'm not particularly, well, I'm always in two minds about my name Mm. uh, because like wanting to go up and do stage stuff. It's always been like Nick Snip always feels, it's quite memorable Mm. as in, I know people who remember and recognize me because of my name, but it's like, it just feels, uh, it just feels strange Mm. to be like, oh, I could use another name yeah, and that would be different on stage than it was personally. It's little little things that that form like just a a huge magnitude of importance as to what someone does. I'm I'm reading Outliers at the minute, um, the Malcolm Gladwell book. Um, and he like he spent a chapter like going over like how important it is um, when a person is born like not necessarily the year or something but that does matter but like when in the year they're born dependent oh, yeah. on what they want to do um, because like he used he used the example an example of like the NHL so, like if you look at all the birth dates of the people on like all star lineups of NHL teams most of them are born between January and March mm-hmm. because they. Um, that they reach the the earliest but highest amount of maturity um in line with the the start of the of the hockey season so they'll be the most developed before uh, um before before they enter into kind of like coaching like as far as their height and everything like that it's like kids born in september have a better chance academically because they're the oldest and have had they've had like an extra an extra few months worth of development compared to kids um mm. kids born in like july who or august or whatever that end up and end up essentially kind of a year behind um like it, it just it's just little things that make an astronomical amount of difference but you don't actually notice until you start to analyze it and i, I imagine someone's name would, would yeah, have that yeah. same thing particularly when you start looking at like well um how how do how do people react to some to someone's name i like i'm certain if 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 someone like we we talk about um there's a, there's a common discussion about like racism and stuff like that about like people's like being judged on their cv dependent on their name and like even if they don't disclose their background because they're called like ahmed or something like that but like like you said if like if, if someone if there was a cv that came across someone's desk someone called apple mm. i imagine there would be a certain percentile of people who would be like yeah no fuck that yeah just phone you to is, it, is your name really apple yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and just just little things like that and you don't know and like and there's always the the thing made of like um a bullying like a, 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 like oh that kid's gonna get bullied in school but it's like those are always the stories and the things that that end up shaping people when they get older how they react to adversity when they're younger so it does make a massive fucking difference Mm. but yeah I never understood well yeah I guess big kids are going to be kids but I think kids are going to find any reason to bully somebody mm. it's not necessarily oh yeah 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 you could name. you could like but it, it's it, it's a fa- it, can, it can be a factor because there can be absolutely you could be perfectly well rounded uh, personably and very approach a very mm. approachable child very affable very caring and everything like that um, but just you you just you just have a dumb name because your parents are fucking morons mm. um and but then we give each other dumb names and it right? made it's some kids thing. who's never even seen you before make up a stupid rhyme about your name at the back of the classroom that permeated everyone else in the classroom and now you've been bullied by 30 people but i guess it's, it's weird because we make nicknames for each other don't we yeah. which has the same kind of effect right of like it's derogatory usually or it's something to yeah but if you're if you're if you're a, if you're a good thing. person or a good child and you make a genuine effort to be a, a good and caring child, you won't know how to react in that situation because you're like, what have I done to deserve this? I think this. I think there's a lot of de- I think there's a lot of development there. It's just that just that's just that's just lost. 
<laughs> Such a great <laughs> argument for like, yeah, why you should be really abusive to your kids. You just like, <laughs> because they'll turn around and be like, oh no, this is fine. It's I'm much worse at home. This is fine. I'm balanced here. You can call me names or whatever, push me. That's fine. At home, yeah. it's fucking crazy. This is fine. <laughs> Some kids are very sensitive and some kids are very hard. I'm not sure what it is that kind of determines that. I don't necessarily think it's a lifestyle thing. Um, but, like, I, d- I don't know. Like, I, th- I think yeah. Apparently there was a well-rounded whole... person could be thrown off the deep end by anything like that. Yeah, everyone's got their own little pressure points and mm. something that can make them snap. Yeah. There was a thing about people's personalities as well, lining up with where they're when they were born like something about, you know, an A personality trait fitting in with winter babies, spring mm. babies, whatever. Yeah. Which again makes sense, I guess, because horoscopes and horoscopes just go like, well, you've told us that, so now everything's fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, there's other things as well, but like, mm. you know, you know, maybe people in born in winter, I guess maybe you're celebrating in winter, whereas um, like some people who are born in March never celebrate anything in winter other than awkward family Christmases. Mm. So maybe there's like a weird knock on effect about that yeah but yeah I always found like uh, I, it's weird isn't it I don't think you should ever scream directly into a newborn baby's face no but like why <laughs> do you know what I mean like, no one ever tells you that no but it feels but, like you wouldn't you just wouldn't would you no. but you just go the assumption is something bad's gonna happen in that baby's brain <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's gonna like grow up just like really suspicious of everything yeah. or something but you're like baby's probably fine the baby yeah. screams half the day anyway you could scream at that baby yeah. that's fine <laughs> <laughs> like you can't like glance menacingly with a knife at a baby. You're like, no. You go, what's no. that baby gonna think? No, this gonna- <laughs> <laughs> Giving that baby too much imagination doesn't. Yeah. That's like an orca trying to figure out who built that boat. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's like, what a lovely knife. <laughs> be racist to a baby you could be so rude rude so uncivil to yeah. a baby and no consequences whatsoever <laughs> no no yeah and that might make it more balanced in school I think that's a good <laughs> argument i think that makes sense you can't shave a baby i always found that weird yeah i think there's a separate keep their teeth <laughs> give me your teeth <laughs> we'll put it in a book what <laughs> this is my book of your teeth yeah this is your okay. first hair what? Oh, all right, I get it. I'm a big deal, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I Christ. think there's a different thing with babies that, that separates them from from animals, which is like even though they can't talk, and there is a thing of like I'm not sure, like um, mm. that like they obviously can't understand like what I'm doing, my taxes. My baby's watching me do my taxes. It has no idea what the fuck is yeah. going on. But there is a disconnect, which is like I, you cannot pinpoint quite when that baby starts to comprehend things <laughs> doing his taxes again so so it's like <laughs> got it wrong again yeah so like with it like with a dog it's like well, you can just use tone of voice and like call them a bell end and it's like yeah, it, it's yeah. like it doesn't it doesn't matter you're not like the dog doesn't give a fuck mm. um as, as long as you say something in a positive manner as opposed to a negative manner it'll react positively uh, but with a baby, like I think there's a there's a the, the, there's there's a point where it's comprehending but still can't talk, and you can't quite pinpoint when that is. So like you d- <laughs> comprehending the emotion, I yes, guess, right? yeah, not yeah, like not like you say I'm going to murder you, and without reading the baby's like he's going to murder. Me. <laughs> yeah, totally like, get it. Help! I can't talk. I need- <laughs> but this guy's trying to kill me. Where? 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 where, where? <laughs> someone's wearing murder <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah yeah i guess just gets the mood of something but mocking babies i think is funny i, I saw a dog mock a baby the other day <laughs> the, 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 it was a husky and mm. huskies are apparently according to all videos on the internet incredibly vocal so mm. like i guess it's the wolf thing um and the baby was crying and the husky was sat next to it. And every time the baby started crying, the wolf started howling until the baby shut up. It, it was great. <laughs> there's yeah. a, who does, there's a comedian who does that with his baby. Oh, is it? And it works. I can't remember who it was, but there was someone. Oh, no, I think no, maybe not a comedian. Maybe it was just like a viral video mm. of just someone, yeah, crying every time the baby cried. Yeah. And you'd be like, all right, it's my turn. <laughs> Your turn. And then the baby suddenly goes like, no. <laughs> As it, like toddler or whatever. Not playing. Yes. Yeah. So like, <laughs> right, so this is a game. It's escalating it. Yeah, and yeah. they're like, no. I'm complying. I don't want to comply. Yeah. Like, nah, 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 nah. yeah. 
<laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I think I've seen that. Yeah, yeah it was quite funny. I would, I, would, I, I would, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say horrific shit to my baby, but I would mock my baby. <laughs> It's just straight, it's genetic is the thing. I think it's just in your genes not to wield a knife at a baby. No. Even from like a distance. Yeah. There's just like, no. Well, I think you, you always want them to perceive this as a threat. Like, yeah. don't don't ever feel safe around someone that's doing this. <laughs> yeah, and for the people around as well, they'd yeah. be like, if you see someone wielding a knife at my baby, let me know, because we're going to get them out. Yeah. Not just like, you can't just do it for a laugh. If you're not carving a turkey right now, you can get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not carving another baby. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And then people come up with a weird, re- weird wives' tales of like never show a baby its own reflection, or that might be like in weird horror films. <laughs> All really right. cheap, bad horror. Never take a photo of a baby. Why? Uh, no, don't use flash on a baby. I think that's the thing with what? flash photography. Kills them straight away. This, All right. This <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> no. But yeah, bad, yeah, uh, it's bad for their eyes, bad for their brain. Flash. Yeah, like flash is and the- like lightning happens. Yeah, if your baby gets struck by lightning, chill out. Well, I was having this, I, I, I was having this argument with a bunch of people. It wasn't about about that, but <laughs> take it as a baby. No, it You're was, filming kids. It was, it was people. Sense. It was people trying to ban fireworks. They were trying to ban fireworks, and they had yeah. a picture of like, oh, this woman holding a dead dog because it got so traumatized, it had a heart attack and died. Right, like because of these fireworks going off, and it's like that's horrible. Mm. But it's because you haven't desensitized your dog, like. You can't you can't sculpt the world around you to suit what you need it to be. Like, let's say you successfully ban fireworks. Like Thunder. you can't you can't ban a car backfiring. You can't ban a workman using a hydraulic drill. You can't ban, I don't know, a shelf suddenly falling off the wall because shit happens. Like you 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 need to condition you need you need it's your responsibility to condition your animal to the environment that it's in. Like, and you can do that. Like it is possible, and then they were like, "Well, what about like you?" So, so like, um, so you can condition like soldiers who've got PTSD. It was like, no, like that's not the 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 dog's not experiencing pre- previous trauma. It's not knowing what the fuck is going on. Mm. So you need to find a way to 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 um to 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 expose them to it in a safe way. And it's this, and they were like, "Oh, so I suppose you can do the same with horses." Like, yep, you can. Have you seen police horses? Like fucking wading through riots of people throwing smoke bombs and firing guns, like they don't give a fuck. <laughs> World War Two, they were trench warfaring horses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's people with a fundamental misunderstanding of how animals work and just and just trying to trying to change the world to suit their needs. I would much rather have a dog or any animal that felt safe in any situation than than have than than have stopped like everyone around me from firing off fireworks and stuff because something else could happen that's going to freak the freak the animal out okay it's weird as well because i think it's an old argument right to ban fireworks uh, yeah it's been going on for years but like yeah it's never really i mean america it's illegal to buy fireworks in certain in states, certain states yeah but it's legal to shoot your friends at school it's a whole thing isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh i can't have a firecracker <laughs> yeah. go to school <laughs> yeah yeah. How does that work? Is that, I know there's Whee! like states with like. <laughs> <laughs> maybe um, maybe it's like you have to go to like licensed places, and what, they'll and they'll put on a firework display for you. Yeah, it's probably. And again, it makes sense because it's explosives. Yeah. But you go, you can't, and in, in the UK is kind of an argument, but it's just, it's like alcohol. It's just been around forever. So people yeah. are just going to keep on do? using it. Yeah. Whereas it's like, it's weird that you can buy gunpowder in like small metal bullets mm. and have firing pins in rifles, but you can't have a rocket that goes, Wee! Yeah. Yeah. Because it's yeah. a fundamental right in America. Yeah. I mean, I knew a guy who blew his, I didn't know a guy, but I met a guy a couple mm. of times who blew his hand off with a firework. Oof. I think. Yeah. It's either that or he's born without it. But I think we used to do stupid that. things with fireworks. Oh, yeah. But we never, well, we, I never let them off in my hand. Yeah. I thought rockets, yeah, the funny one for us was like in the front lawn, I sort of stabbed a <laughs> rocket in the grass yeah. with the stick. And I was like, the rocket will shoot off. The stick won't. Need to <laughs> yeah. Go. And it just went, <laughs> stayed still. <laughs> we just kind of dived in the house. <laughs> Bang! We bummed back into the house. You went into a hedge. Some <laughs> I'm going left. Because <laughs> you were on the lawn. You had to run in the other direction. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> then it was like, I think the joke was it was saving Private Ryan's like, Ooh, yeah, walking into the house. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, it's again, it's it's lethal, but it's not, it's only lethal in the most worst of certain situations, I guess. It's like bonfires. Like, if you, you can put ban bonfires, well, I fires. guess. Like, yeah, yeah. you're going to ban fires? Probably not. Well, I guess you can't have a fire everywhere. There's no. probably like restrictions, but they're not police. Yeah, but you don't put people aren't setting fireworks in a cinema. I heard that uh, in Spain, uh, as in apparently what's going on in Spain, they had an election a while ago to become, I think, a separate like Spain and Catalan or something like that. We're going to mm. vote to be independent, and it failed. So every year in Spain, they protest. They protest by setting fire to dumpsters and mm. wheelie bins. And uh, yeah, a friend of mine saw someone saw a group of youths getting to do it. It saves eight people. Uh, as soon as they st- were about to do it, four of them turned out to be undercover police officers. Oh. <laughs> Just whipped out trunks and started beating the shit. Jesus. Murdering, <laughs> torturing, raping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can do this, we're undercover. <laughs> so I think if police came across a fire, they would put it out. They, you'd have to do something with it. It's not like you can have fires everywhere. So it is policed, kind of. Yeah. But you can have a fire in your living room. And like nobody cares unless it inconveniences other people. Mm. Then if your building catches fire, and so does your neighbours. Yeah, mm. yeah. Fireworks. Mm. Never a huge fan, to be fair, but it's a thing. Yeah, my dog doesn't get nervous around fireworks at all. No, it's never been a never been no, a thing. Some people, some 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 don't. But it's also like a thing of like. But my dog's not very, a nervous dog, really. No, I think that's because of the owner. I think that's where you get yeah. a lot of these personality traits. Yeah, hugely. Like they feed off your energy. Yeah. And there's loads of people that like uh, they they instill this thing of like, and not just with dogs, with with kids as well. Like it's the same same kind of shit. Where it's like they they'll they'll feed off your energy. If you're in a situation, you're like, oh no, the kid's also going to be like, oh no, yeah, yeah. and same with the dog, like. If you if fireworks are going off and you're like fucking fireworks scaring the shit out and your dog's fine, mm. like your dog's gonna start being bothered by fireworks yeah. because it gets agitated when you're agitated. What's well, this? How they learn stuff? Like today, yeah. for example, um, my neighbour was doing something and he knocked on the wall connecting the houses like three times, and my dog just looked at me like, "Is this a thing that do you want me to act on this?" Mm. I was like. That's fine. And she, oh, okay, I'll go back to sleep then. Yeah. But like, she never used to bark at the door. And it's only because she re- recognised that when the door knocks, I have to go to the door. Mm. So that means there's someone at the door. Yeah. Which me- could be a territorial thing, but could just be a, I need to let people know that there's someone at the door. I, th- I think at some point you had to train your dog to bark at the door, didn't you? When you first got it, she didn't give a fuck. That's what I'm saying. I think just yeah. after a while, the dog made the connection yeah. that there was somebody at the door, not just there was a noise. Mm. There was someone at the door. I need to open the door. So they would yeah. make that association and be like, oh, okay, so when this happens, this happens, I need to do this. Yeah. So I think they just figure stuff out based on their relationship. So yeah, if you freak out, because if, if every time there's a firework, you scream, yeah. they're going to scream as well. Yeah. Even if it's not just emotion, it's just like, oh, one plus one. Okay, let's do this. Mm. I got your back. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's me this week. Cool. Um, I have got some headlines. It's been an hour and a half. Should I go through? What do you want to do?